Let's talk about one more string method, and it's called split lines. Now, let's look at the text of a file as a single string. I actually am representing it in two ways, and you can see I'm assigning uh, the variable text twice. That's because the values that I'm giving this text uh, are the same in either case. In the first case, you can see on line three, I have a, a string. The string contains new lines, and you know what new lines means. New lines means there's a new line uh, aptly named. Uh, it tells Python, as well as any text reader or any other uh, program that wants to read your file, that we've reached the end of a line and that we're about to begin another line. So the new line character, as we say, punctuates lines. It says, this is the end of one line, here's a new line. Now, if we look at this file, you can see I've got several lines strung together in a single string with the new line character in between. This is basically what you get back from read. The read method gives you the entire file as a single string. So keep that in mind because that's one of the, um, that's one of the values that we're going to want to work with when we try to read the file and do various things with it. A single string, of course, can be extremely helpful if you just want to use a string method to manipulate it or find out information about it. It's quite easy because we know what those string methods are. We can also think about splitting the string and doing various things. Um, but what I want to show you first is another way to represent that string, that single string that represents the entire file. This is a six-line file. And the six-line file can be represented as a single string using the triple-quoted string, um, uh, using the triple-quoted string. The triple quoted string is a multi-line string. As you can see, I've got triple quotes on either side of this string. And as you can also see, the string occupies multiple lines. So in a way, what this string is, is the same thing as what we see on line four. However, the new line characters are represented as actual new lines in the code. So text and text, text on line four and text on line six are identical. They're the same string. The only difference is in the first string on line four, the new line is represented as an actual character, escape character, backslash n, that represents the new line character and says, I'm the end of a line. On line six through 11, however, the line is actually represented by an actual line. And so, the, market, the demarcation between the first line and the second line is the actual drop down of the line, the actual moving down to the bottom. So in a sense, we're using the Python file to help us um, construct this multi-line string. Both text on line four and text on line six are what we would call multi-line string. What is a multi-line string? It's simply a string that contains new lines. And that's perfect because sometimes we want to work with that. A string that contains new lines means that it's a string that contains lines. The lines are kind of virtual. The new line characters are really what delimit them. But that's what makes a multi-line string. The one string method that I'd like to show you is one that could work on either one of these, although I'm going to use this triple quoted string just, for, uh, just because it's a little more um, visible. And we're going to use the uh, split lines method. It's a, another string method. Split lines will split your string into multiple lines. Of course, it's only going to be helpful if your string contains new lines. If your string contains new lines, that means that the, uh, f the string itself is a multi-line string. That's only because that new line character is there. Because the new line character represents a new line, its presence means that what we have is a multi-line string. And we can use split lines to parse it into lines. Now look very closely at the list of strings that we see as a result. As you can see, this list, starting with a square bracket, has a string item, comma, a second string item, comma, a third string item. 
where are the new lines? Actually, split lines splits on the new line character. It's roughly equivalent to split with the new line character in it. So presumably we might be able to do this. And potentially we could do that, but unfortunately there are strange uh, inconsistencies between uh, Windows files and Mac files when it comes to new lines. In the Windows uh, system, the new line is actually represented differently. It actually looks like this. So what split lines allows us to do is we don't even need to uh, specify the delimiter. That is, we don't have to specify the new line character. What it does is it splits that multi-line string on the new line character. And what we get back is a list of strings. Each string is a single line. That's why the combination, when we open up a file and read it and we want to see each line, this combination can um, be really, really helpful. As you can see here, I guess this will be FF abbreviated, I should call it. Because we have a file like that that looks similar to this one. I'm opening the file and getting back a file handle. I'm calling read on the file handle or the file object to get back a single string. That's a multi-line string that got read from the file. And I'm then splitting that text on with split lines which gives me back a list of strings. Each string is a line, and the new line has been removed.